This is Rindon with Rindon.com. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating 10 excellent audio and video programs that are completely free to download and use. The first one we'll look at is VLC Player. VLC is a free media player for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. It's like Windows Media Player, but with 10 times the functionality. It's open source, lightweight, and supports many audio and video codecs, uh, file formats, as well as DVDs, VCDs, and various streaming protocols. This software features many customizable settings and parameters. It also has the ability to stream media over networks and can even transcode multimedia files and save them into various formats. The next program we'll look at is Songbird. Songbird lets you organize your media library and specifically your music collections. It runs on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. It's similar to iTunes. If you have an active internet connection, Songbird can look up information about the song being played, including latest news about the group or artist, photos, videos, and more. You can look up concert information within Songbird and stream live radio. If you have a free Last.fm account, Songbird will stream your Last.fm music to your computer via this program. It has lots of cool features, so if you're big into music, you'll probably enjoy Songbird. Um, like all the other programs in this video, it is 100% free to download and use. The uh, next program we'll look at here is Audacity. Audacity is a free audio recording and editing program for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. It's very lightweight. Don't let its basic looking interface fool you though. Audacity can be used as a professional audio solution in many applications. It has a large array of digital effects and plugins. It supports importing and exporting of various formats such as WAV, MP3, WMA, and OGG Vorbis to name a few. It allows editing at, via cut, copy, and paste methods. Um, this program can be used in many applications. I'm actually using it right now to record the audio for this video. So one to take a look at for sure. The next one we'll look at here is MediaCoder. MediaCoder is a free universal media transcoder currently available for Windows only. MediaCoder is like the Swiss army knife for media transcoding. Uh, transcoding basically means just changing video and its associated audio file from one format to another. It offers flexible control over settings and parameters, and the video you're watching right now was transcoded using Media Transcoder in order to reduce its size from 106 megabytes down to 10 megabytes for uploading to the web. The next program we'll look at is Infra Recorder. Infra Recorder is an open source CD and DVD writing program. It's available for Windows only. With Infra Recorder, you can create and burn data and audio disk images, and you can even extract ISO images from CDs and much more. Let's look at this uh, AvidMux, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a video editor. Um, it's designed for simple cutting, filtering, and encoding tasks. It supports many file types using a variety of codecs. The interface takes a little bit of getting used to, and the program doesn't support many major video effects, but it's great for doing rough initial editing and transcoding. Um, some of the effects that are available uh, with this program are picture transforming such as cropping, resizing, and rotating the video picture. Um, there's picture enhancing tools for color balancing, contrast adjustments, and brightness. You can also add subtitles and fade the video in and out. Um, so it's a completely free program. Um, it runs on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. This next one we'll look at here is Lightworks. Lightworks is a video editor that has been used professionally in movies such as Pulp Fiction and Shutter Island. The software has recently been re-released as an open source project. It offers a complete set of video editing tools including media management, trimming, and special effects. Cam Studio is a screen recording tool. It's the program that I'm using right now to record this video of my desktop. It's available for Windows only, but there are some alternatives available for Macintosh and Linux. Um, Tux Guitar is an open source tablature editor very similar to Guitar Pro. Basic features include tablature editing, score editing, and the ability, ability to import and export Guitar Pro files and MIDI files. In addition, Tux Guitar can function as a basic MIDI editor using the tablature and staff interface to edit or compose music. If you're interested in learning guitar, this program can be an excellent educational tool as it has a built-in keyboard and fretboard as visual aids that play along in real time as the music's going. So, open source program, free for both personal and commercial use, definitely worth taking a look at. This next one is MuseScore. MuseScore is a music score writer for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. It's similar to Finale. 
the MuseScore editor is complete with support for score playback and import export of music XML and standard MIDI files. Percussion notation is also supported, and you can print sheet music directly from the program. Um, if you're looking for a program that is specifically for creating sheet music, I'd recommend LilyPond. Um, one of its major goals is to produce scores that are engraved with traditional layout rules reflecting the era when music scores were engraved by hand. So, want to take a look at it's for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it if you did, and watch my other videos. Thanks a lot.